Christian, you want to lead us off? Uh, Christian, uh, first day back after a tough loss, a, a loss against uh, a, a team that uh, was beatable in a game that was going your way. After having a couple of days to digest it all, you know, what are your thoughts on what happened and how you move forward? Yeah, I think number one, frustrating, right? Um, we score a goal. Uh, we concede, you know, five, ten minutes later. Then they're back in it. Um, and then, uh, you know, the, the momentum shifts as soon as the red card happens, right? Um, we feel like we're a bit in control. Um, in terms of not giving up um, some clear chances and then you know the red car obviously changes a lot of the game uh, but in the end I felt like uh, you know the, the, the effort to try to score that second goal was was there and you know that's credit to our team we have to look at it in, in an in optimistic way because uh, things haven't been going our way and so um, I think that's the way I'm perceiving it and look, there's things that we can get better at for sure. It's a it's a frustrating one because you feel like you did enough, right, to um, to not concede the goal, right? Uh, you know, in the first goal, I give up the ball um, because I'm trying to play Jordan, and then we all get back and we have 11, really, you know, 10, 10 guys behind the ball, and we're giving up a, t a shot top of the box where we think that st Steph can save, right? The second goal, we essentially give up a shot from no angle where we think that Steph can also save and has saved those shots. So, um, yeah, frustrating nonetheless because um, those are low percentage shots. Those are shots that uh, we feel like on our end aren't going in. And so, uh, yeah, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's funny how soccer works, right? Because you feel like um, you did enough and then all of a sudden you're frustrated because you, lo you lose the game 2-1. As frustration continues to grow, there doesn't seem to be a, a direction of change. Things continue to to be the same. Fun, uh, formations get sent out there. There isn't a real shakeup in what's going on. Is there a point where you guys as professionals go up to management and go, hey, we need to try something new? No, that's, I mean, that's, look, that's up to Schmetz, right? Um, you know, that's, that's, he obviously asked for our feedback, right? Uh, we've had plenty of meetings, meetings where players speak up um, about how they feel, right? But ultimately it's, it's how, how Schmetz feels uh, um, is gonna give us the best chance to, to, to win the game. And so, um, you know, whether he does decide to shake up the lineup in, in, in this game or uh, Houston with the short rest, uh, you know that's going to be his decision, but look, it's it's everybody's team. We're we're all in this together, and um, you know not, we have to put egos aside. So if if he does decide to shake things up, then um, you know we have to buy into to to the lineup, the decision, the decisions he makes, um, and and when your name gets called, you have to be ready for that opportunity. When frustration continues to mount again on that theme the mistakes seem to magnify themselves and they seem to to be more glaring what are you guys doing from a psychological standpoint on how to prepare to minimize those mistakes but not only minimize the mistakes but the aftermath of the mistakes which is the, the attitude because you look at the way goals are being conceived and then you look at the body language of the team and it's not consistent to what the, the, the successful teams here have, have displayed. Uh, in, in terms of body language, what do you mean? Like I mean, you know, you guys give up a goal and there's people throwing their arms and just not not being the supportive cast that has always been been noticeable here. Yeah, I think I think it's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to be upset. Look, body language is part of the sport. We're professionals. We want to win. When a goal gets conceded, I don't want guys to be like, oh, well, you know, I don't, I don't want, I want guys to be frustrated, right? Like, obviously, if it doesn't impact the way we support each other, impact the way we uh, go about things, right? That's, that's obviously really important. But for me, it's the compound mistakes that, that continue to, to uh, uh, kill us, right? Because we're not scoring enough goals, you know, and that's why the, the mistakes are getting magnified. Right. The, the, the reason why these and, and we've had a lot of seasons where, you know, we've conceded a lot of goals and they don't get magnified because we're winning the game 4-3. You know, we're winning the game 3-2. And so now that we're losing pretty much every game by one goal, 
you know, these these mistakes are being uh, magnified and, and it's it's frustrating for sure. And the reason why I bring that up is because when Nuhu makes a mistake, when Raul makes, makes a mistake, there is a lot of conversations that go into, well, their attitude is not what needs to be. Why is it that they get treated differently than the rest of the team? They, they don't get treated differently. Not within our group, you know. I think that's that's the most important thing, right? We're, we're getting called out in, in film, you know. It's maybe from an out, outsider's perspective, but look, we're one team, you know. It's if if Reed gets a red card, it's he's that's that's a learning experience for him, you know. If if that's if Schmetz didn't take Reed out on a yellow card, maybe that's a learning experience for him. If Nuhu didn't put his arms out in that game, we win that game. That's a learning experience. He got he got crapped on, you know. Like those those are things that are happening behind the scenes, right? And I think people don't see that, right? And it, and it's okay because it's it's within our locker room, and you know it's 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 a reason why like we're so frustrated because we keep making those mistakes, right? We're not learning from them, and that's that's uh, yeah the most frustrating thing going into all these games, losing the game by by one. Yeah, uh, I guess along those same lines, you guys have five or six red cards, but in five different games, all five games that you've had a red card, you've conceded a goal. Uh, obviously, some of those are mitigating circumstances where it was a, a penalty or, or whatever. But is there a sense of when things go bad, they have tended to cascade like that, where it's like we get a red card and instead of, you know, seeing the game out and keeping it scoreless, the situation gets worse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's been the story of our season, and that's why it's the most frustrating part because we f we feel like we've been in control of games in terms of seeing the game out, in, in, like in terms of you know maybe surviving at times, gr gritting it out. But then once the red card comes, and 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 it seems like we go down this rabbit hole where we can't get out of, and and. Um, you know, those are those common mistakes, those learning curves that we need to just uh, erase from our system because, um, you know, you, you can't climb up, uh, climb back up once you're, once you're down like that. Um, and, you know, and to be fair, like I've said earlier, once we get down to 10 men, we still, we still manage to get a chance or two. And um, can we have that same mentality uh, when we go down immediately? And so that's been the most frustrating part. Your thoughts on Minnesota, tough team to play. They get a lot of, a lot of players behind the ball. Um, just what do you feel like this game is going to be like against Minnesota? Yeah, it's a really good team. You know, uh, It's a team that builds out with, with three guys that, that are really comfortable on the ball. It's a team that uh, has scored a lot of goals, has, has, is, is a team that um, in build out, they're really tough to defend. And so um, it's going to be a, a tough game, right? There's no easy games in MLS. And so, uh, especially with our home record, we need to take advantage of this game, right? We need to um, make a statement, right? Uh, uh, you know, this, this first half of the season is essentially done. Uh, and we have to look forward to the, to the second half and, and um, treat it like, right, we're starting the season fresh and, and that, that we kind of erase the first half of the season out of our system. So uh, against Minnesota, tough side, a, a team that is fast uh, and gets the ball in front of goal and, and, and really capitalizes on teams um, not defending well. As a player that's been here as long as you have, how hard is it to hear that the last home game was the lowest attendance since 2009? And does that make you feel like that support might not be there in the next game? Or, or, or what are your thoughts on the way fans are taking this whole season? Well, I think it means that we need to do better. You know, it's it's the reality of things, right? Like, uh, we're not in a spot where we want to be. We're not in a spot where they want to be. Um, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it's the reality is, you know, we're not playing exciting football. We're not scoring goals. We're not... Uh, doing a lot of things that uh, that they want to see, and so um, as frustrating as it is for us, it's, I'm sure it's frustrating for them. So we need to get out of this together, and so um, we definitely need their support because we um, are better with them. And so, uh, can we get out of this? Yes, absolutely. Um, will we get out of this? Uh, I believe so, but you know we need to um, uh, uh, use that energy that they bring. Um, you know, even if it's, you know, 30,000 uh, or, or less. Thanks, Cheers, guys. Yeah.